Um, Brock Pickin here from the dugout with uh, Danielle Badezi from uh, Jay's Care Foundation. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time. Thanks for coming. Uh, maybe you can tell uh, us just a little bit about uh, today, uh, the, the players' involvement here and uh, what this means to the Jay's Care Foundation. Sure. Um, well, this is our first uh, ever winter training day, and uh, we were looking for an event kind of pre-winter tour or around winter tour um, in January, getting people excited about uh, going into spring training um, and something where we could get give people an opportunity to be down here on the field. And the, this uh, concept uh, evolved and uh, turned into winter training day. So we have about 45 participants today um, who have all fundraised uh, for Jay's Care and who are getting to kind of run through batting practice this afternoon in, in, in various forms. Um, uh, on the field at Rogers Center. Uh, now, uh, I, I recall hearing last year that it was, uh, was it not a, a record year for the, the Jesus Care Foundation in terms of the, the money that was raised? And maybe you can uh, talk a little bit more about uh, what the, the funds uh, are for for the, the foundation. For sure. Well, um, thanks, tremendous fans, tremendous players. Um, we have had a record year every year, uh, but uh, Jay's Care has, uh, we did actually raise a significant amount of money last year that will be um, redirected and help us continue our programming across Canada. So um, for this program in particular today, Winter Training Day, uh, the funds are going to be um, directed to our Rookie League program. So they're going back in to uh, help us build out uh, 24 new com programs in 24 new communities, um, which is terrific. So by the end of 2014, our goal is 100 communities, 10 provinces, one territory, and about 7,100 kids participating in Rookie League um, across across the board. So uh, it's, it's a tremendous partnership with our Baseball Academy as well is involved. Uh, our alumni have taken a, a, a big interest in uh, coming out. They do have been running some um, camps and clinics for the Boys and Girls Clubs um, with our Rookie League program alongside our, our super camps. Um, and uh, it's, it's a big piece of, of what we do in, in trying to grow the game across the country and give opportunities for kids to play that wouldn't otherwise have a chance to play. That's fantastic. And what's, uh, what's the next big event? What do you have planned? Oh dear, you're going to catch me off guard here because okay. uh, um, probably our, our next big one will start in season. So we'll, we actually um, do have our curveball event here on the field uh, during opening week. Um, so we do our, our players, our our current team um, commit two days a year to helping Jay's Care fundraise. Uh, we do a, a big event here on the field called the Curveball and, and a golf tournament as well. So it is full team participation and uh, it is uh, going to be opening week. So that'll probably be our big kickoff. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much uh, for everything that you do and thank you for your time. And we uh, wish you all the best with uh, the fundraising this year. Thank you very much. And thanks for coming out and, and giving us some, some coverage and support. Um, it's, it's really means a lot to, to everything that we do, um, you know, both, both on the field and off. Wonderful. Thank you, Danielle. Thanks.